Hello everyone, Marilla Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, I'm very excited about this video because we are preparing to head to the Bahamas. Your girl has never been to the Bahamas and it's gonna be so much fun. It's a quick 48 hour trip. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a few things in this vlog that I got in for the trip we're leaving in a few days um, and also I have not been posting like static images on Instagram lately if you've been following me over on Instagram at Monroe Steel and you should be following your girl you guys know I've been posting fashion reels every day and I've really gotten back into enjoying putting those together for you all I'll pop a few up here on the screen so if you're new here definitely check me out over there a lot of my outfits kind of get posted there first and I also try to post them to YouTube shorts so you guys can see I know many of you aren't on Instagram or TikTok and I want to make sure the whole fam gets to see all of the content but yes I usually post the links to everything there on my Instagram and my Instagram story so if you're wondering about an outfit feature in one of my YouTube shorts definitely just head to Instagram I'll put everything in the caption and also head over to my like to know it account follow me there download the app if you have to so that you can shop all of my outfits there's a link in the description box and in the, a pinned comment below Woo, that was a, a long spiel y'all y'all have been loving my hair up like this and honestly I have two now that my braids are kind of old and girl I need to get them redone and don't worry I will be getting them redone in about a week so yeah for now I'm wearing it up I have these little tendrils coming down and you know it's cute it's a little moment it's a little vibe it's a little look uh we are gonna shoot today because like i said i haven't been posting static images and right now static images are actually what's performing best on instagram especially if you put them in a carousel featuring little videos so we're back on our fashion kick we are heading over to the miami design district and maria and i are going to shoot you know just a few looks and of course I'm gonna do a little fashion show for y'all but first I have to show you all a few pieces that I've gotten in that I will be wearing to shoot today um, so without further ado let's get into the vlog by the way if you're wondering about the makeup I did my everyday makeup look all the products are linked down below on my cheeks I have the Fenty Beauty cream blush the new one in big melons and then on top of that I put a little bit of the Dior rose glow in cherry I haven't put on a lip yet because we're gonna wait skims house dress you guys know how i feel about this um so these are some of the looks i'm probably going to shoot today um this really cool fringe dress from where did i get this from and other stories no mango this is from the mango um simon miller collection which i absolutely love we need a pop of color um, we're definitely going to shoot this Jacquemus dress and you will see in a moment what I got to pair with this. <laughs> I also think I want this in the burnt red color for fall. I think it would be really beautiful. So I think we'll shoot that. And then we have this dress from Fumi the Label. I've done a reel with this but I haven't worn it yet. But I think we're going to save this for an actual event. And I think we're gonna go with this yellow crinkle two-piece set from Local European that I showed you in a recent video. That way we have a lot of fun color, like primary colors on my Instagram. So I think we're gonna go with those three looks. Oh, I did wanna shoot this as well. This uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier sheer dress. If you didn't know, sheer is in. We're loving it and she needs some shine. She needs a moment. So yeah. That's my little sophisticated outfit. Let me show you what I've got in. All right, guys, so let's get into it. I hope you all can see me. It's an extremely bright and super hot day. There's a heat, excessive heat advisory here in Miami. So I'm a little nervous about shooting in this kind of heat, y'all. Mm, your girl's gonna melt. But without further ado, first up, got a little something from my Teresa. Now you guys know I have been partnering with my Teresa over the last, I don't know, four or five months. Um, and I am still working with them, but they always have all of the goods, you guys, the things that all the world want. 
my Teresa has. So I will be linking a few of my favorite products from my Teresa down below in the description bar. Um, usually they do send me an order of gifted items every month. Um, I haven't received that yet. I purchased this with my own money because I couldn't wait. I'm thirsty and it's that good. Ah, let's get into it. So here we go. It's a little something from Jacquemus. You guys know Jacquemus is one of my favorite designers. I have been loving everything he's been doing. And I hopped on a bandwagon. I did. I'm I'm sheep. I'm sheep. I'm a I'm a follower when it comes to what's in here. You guys, you've already seen it. All the girls have it. All the girls. Okay? All the girls. And for good reason. Do you see it? I know you see it. Look, I know. <laughs> you see it. Now, Jacquemus did a thing with this little bag. It's a silver um almost like a patent leather clutch that rolls it has a gold square and a gold circle jacquemus is known for doing square and circle pieces in fact he's had shoes that have a square heel and a circle heel like when he very first came out and i wanted those heels so bad y'all they didn't make them in my size your girl was sad but yes it's such a beautiful clutch and i love it and I think he did a thing because you guys know right now Beyonce Renaissance is happening. There are lots of silver um, and gold looks. And this bag dropped at like the absolute perfect time. You can't find it anywhere. Okay. But my Teresa came through for your girl. My Teresa had it. Um, they had it for like a day. And it sold out. So I put a little myself on a wait list. And they're very good about emailing you when things come back in stock. I saw it come back in stock. I ordered it not one minute later. Okay. And maybe like three minutes after that, it was already sold out. So I am very happy to have it. It's very, very cool. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm on a bandwagon. Like, I don't care. I don't care if everyone has this bag. Now I'm one of the everyone because she's good. She is a moment. Oh, gorgeous. So once I ordered this bag, <laughs> there was something else that I had been wanting and I had to go ahead and get that too. And girl, when you see these two together, you're, you're going to understand the vision. Okay guys. So since I had this bag, I was like, I need a silver shoe. I do. And I actually have a silver pump from Tom Ford, but they're up on my Poshmark closet right now for sale. They are a patent leather, this same exact silver pump, and they would go amazing with these. But this is kind of like a summer bag for me. And I've been wanting more of a sandal, a silver sandal um, in this patent leather, like silver, shiny uh, silver um instead of a closed toe pump and it just works better for my lifestyle here in miami so i got a little something from versace versace ah! okay so i actually already have these sandals in white and gold but when i saw these i knew i knew girl this is not the most perfect match for the bag now i know a lot of people don't do the shoes to bag match but i'm sorry it works it's a it's a good outfit formula it doesn't have to work every time it doesn't have to but sometimes it works and in this case my fashion darlings it works look <laughs> look at it the silver is silvering the chunky gold is chunky golding I got my normal size, which is a 41 euro. I'm a US size 10. I always get a 41 in all of my Versace shoes. Girl. Girl. Versace and Jacquemus, they did that. And uh, yeah, it works. Now I almost went with the Tom Ford silver padlock heels that have the gold heel and the gold strap, that would work too, girl. That would work too. So if you got this bag, like a lot of us did, um, I'll go ahead and link some shoes that you could probably get to rock with this bag, including these from Versace, um, the silver patent leather from Tom Ford. 
um and then the tom for padlock heels that are silver with the gold heel and any other shoes that i can find that i think would go great with this bag now this bag is under a thousand dollars which is incredible for this design this is very very unique this is very fashion girl this is very there's nothing like this on the market that i've seen whether it be vintage or new so i'm happy to have this in my collection and also <laughs> to pair it with these fantastic versace shoes now i also have these in white if i can find a photo of me wearing them i'll pop them up in fact let me just go grab them for you all right guys so here are the white ones and i love these they're very very comfortable um they have that chunky thick gold chain these are white leather they zip up the back um one shoe has a little charm on it and these are very very sexy but i love them because they're easy to walk in because the heel is quite thick it's not like a stiletto heel um these are quite tall i think they're like mm, four inches maybe five but overall one of my favorite heels i need to wear these more often i sometimes forget i have them but yes one of my favorite designs from versace very easy to walk in very sexy on the foot very <sighs> go big or go home and i'm in my go big or go home era so yeah i will link these down below if i can find any others online they are true to size again i usually get a, U a 41 and i'm a u.s size 10 and they're actually pretty comfortable i can walk around these in these shoes for quite a bit of time um so very happy to have the silver and to match it with my bag i mean i'm sorry you can you can take the girl out the south north carolina to be exact but you cannot take the south out of the out of the girl and we love to match match a shoe to a bag what can i say that's what we do next up we have a little something from alexis batar they're actually sending me a bag and some earrings um it hasn't gotten here yet hopefully it does while i'm still filming but when i was choosing items i could only choose two and i saw these on their website and i could not go on without them um but alexis batar is a very well-known jewelry designer especially in new york um, and i'm so happy to have a piece like look at this beautiful felt bag i think it's so cool and i love this little strap can definitely use this for travel it's like a little pouch here and wait until you see these now you guys know i love this statement earring and how special how cool do you see these so they're like a molten gold over top a clear hoop. They are absolutely stunning. Oh, you guys know I love unique jewelry. And when I saw these, I just said, wow, yes, mama needs add to cart, please. Um, and I bought them. They came super quick. I'll try it on for you guys. And I just want to go ahead and show you the new items that I'm going to be shooting today um oh i am obsessed are you obsessed because i'm obsessed oh i love them i mean i wish they were just a little bit bigger because your girl loves a statement hoop but like these are the perfect size for those who you know are kind of an in-between you're not maximalist you're not minimalist oh they're so gorgeous so I'll be sure to link these down below. They have such cool, very unique earrings. Ah! And even these will go so well with my new Jacquemus bag because they have that like molten gold and these are clear here. It's a vibe. Look, stick with me. I'm going to help you guys find really cool, unique pieces that all the girls are not wearing. Except for this bag because everybody got this bag. But we can't have it all, you guys. Sometimes we got to share. Um, so, yeah, I'll link these earrings down below from Alexis Batar. Let's go ahead and pack up our fits, um, get everything together, and we're going to head to Miami Design district and do a little shooting i might do a little shopping it's been a minute since i've been over there and some things i want to see um a little eating of course and uh then we'll come back here 
and we'll start packing for the Bahamas. And then we're going to dinner tonight at Cat Studio. We're going to a little event, very eventful vlog today for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's pack and get out of here because I'm late. I am. All right, guys, so my bag is packed. This is the extra large Loewe basket bag and it comes in so handy i have four out well three outfits in here four pairs of shoes four bags i usually put all of my accessories that i'm going to wear with each outfit in the corresponding bag so very happy everything fit we are starting off in this dress i wanted to start with the hottest thing so i can get it out of the way <laughs> that's kind of like my method for bat shooting uh so let's go guys so we just got finished shooting we only did three looks because it's so hot and one of the looks that I showed you the bag and the shoes for the dress the material of it would show my sweat too quickly so I'm gonna save that for the next vlog when we are going to the Bahamas um, but yeah we're here in the design district we still come pretty early they're doing some construction here at Celine but we can feel air conditioning coming out of there y'all and it's good uh, so like we always do after we shoot, we're gonna get a lady fingers popsicle because the heat is just, you guys, I really love you. I do because I'm out here <laughs> drenched in sweat. <laughs> um, don't worry. I'll recap all of the outfits and accessories and things, um, as soon as I get home. But for now, 
we need a popsicle. And I'm gonna get the lychee one because that one is my favorite. Say hello, Maria. Hello, hello. Yeah. And everyone is loving my Jacquemus bag. I'll link it down below. Remember, if it sells out at my Teresa, just put yourself on the email list because they restock it like every few days. shooting in the Miami Design District. The shoot went very well, but it's so hot. I started sweating immediately. Luckily, my makeup held up really well. <laughs> I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with the way I was sweating. Um, so let's go through the looks. The first look I wore was the Simon Miller Kelly Green Fringe Dress. Um, it's a collaboration with, between Simon Miller and Mango. I believe this dress is still available. I'm wearing a medium, love it. 10 out of 10, no notes. Uh, for the shoes, I went with my favorite Tibby Fringe Mules. These are so old, they're not available anymore. Um, the earrings were my Cult Guy of Ball earrings, and then I went with my Brandon Blackwood, which is a black designer, um, cowrie shell handbag. Um, and I loved that look. Now the second look, it's right on trend. You guys know sheer pieces are trending all 2023. This is a sheer John Paul Gaultier dress. Very beautiful with hints of black, peaches, kind of melon colors. Um, and I played that up with uh, a Dior saddlebag in this beautiful like rich clay color. Uh, let's see, for the sunglasses, I went with my new and Christian Dior sunglasses that I got from Elegant Eyes, my girl Utenzi Miller's shop in Jersey. They sent me a bunch. You guys helped me pick two pair and that was one of the pair that I love. I love like the pinky tint of the lens. I do believe these sunglasses are quite new and still available so I will link the sunglasses down below for you all. And of course for the shoes I went with my all time favorite YSL Diva suede heels in black. I also have them in the chocolate brown. I love them that much. I wear them a lot. I know you guys hate that, especially the Bottega earrings that I wore with the look. Um, look, I like what I like. A lot of people keep saying, oh, you have other earrings. Wear other earrings. We want to see other earrings. Like, I really wear my Bottega earrings that much because they cost a month's rent. So if I wear them every video, y'all got to let me rock. Like, let me rock. Um... I have a whole uh, jewelry video that if you want to see other jewelry, just go watch that jewelry video. You can see all the pairs of earrings I own, but for now, these are my favorite. And I'm a human being, and human beings usually wear their favorite things. So, yeah, let, you, let your girl rock. Like, let me wear my earrings, y'all. And if you like them, there's a dupe at Amazon. Link down below. <laughs> okay, so that was look two. Finally, look three, which is the look I still have on, is a two-piece kind of neon green yellow set from local European. I've worked with them um, quite a bit and they sent this set over for me. It's so comfortable. I love the little ridges in it, like the crinkle and how long the sleeves are. It's just a very fun, chill, like two piece set. This also comes in a dress. For the shoes, I went with my brand new Alexander McQueen heels with the uh, silver toe cap. So cool, so elegant, so chic, so everything, so that girl. I love these pumps. Um, they're everything. For the bag, I went with my Prada triangle bag, which was fun. The sunglasses were Saint Laurent with the silver top. Um, and the earrings were, of course, uh, Fool Me the Label, my big chunky silver earrings to kind of play up the silver on the sunglasses. 
So all of the pieces will be linked down below. If I can find some affordable alternatives, those will be linked too. Um, yeah, but y'all, it's hot. Alexa, what's the weather today? Currently, in Miami Beach, it's 92 degrees Fahrenheit with partly sunny skies. Today, you can expect some sun and thunderstorms with a high of 93 degrees and a low of 84 degrees. Also, there's an excessive heat warning in effect until Tuesday, August 8th. 7 p.m. Look, y'all, y'all, y'all heard Alexa. It's hot. It's 92 degrees with a high of 93 today. Okay, and a low of 84. Whew! The heat is heating. Okay, the heat is set to hell, and the humidity is set to the seventh circle. Dante's Inferno. Okay, Dante's Inferno. All right, you guys. So I have to go ahead and clean up these things. I'm sorry I didn't shoot the look that featured my brand new. Uh, Jacquemus bag but let me tell you how many people stopped me just because they saw this bag like me carrying it in my uh, tote everybody wanted to see it in person everybody wanted to touch it everybody wanted to feel it <sighs> she's a winner but don't worry I will wear this look in the very next vlog um, we're doing something really fun so you guys will see what that is all right I'm gonna clean up oh, my bag already has a little mark on it I'm gonna clean up and then I'll check back in with you guys soon. So I cleaned up, put away everything from my shoot. Um, I needed to wash the dishes because I'm going to be out later. And of course, I'm heading on my trip tomorrow. Um, and I just ordered lunch, which is my favorite, Pura Vida. Um, everything is so healthy. I got something new today. Um, I got a turkey um, bacon wrap with egg, avocado, sweet potato, spinach, and olive oil and a spicy aioli sauce and i got one of my favorite drinks that i forgot all about it is the ginger like and blue pea, butterfly pea drink um i've been wanting you know a little pick me up so let me show you what i got so here is the blue butterfly pea um ginger latte and I got oat milk. It's very, very strong, the ginger content in this. But I heard like this blue butterfly pea is supposed to be like really good for you. So yeah, very excited for this. And here is my turkey bacon wrap. I always get gluten-free wraps because, I mean, I don't know why. I just do. But yum. It has like a soft boiled egg, avocado, a little sweet potato, spinach, um, and a little mozzarella and then it comes with this salsa picante sauce which is vegan and gluten-free I'm about to tear this up y'all because I am starving and I'm really excited because my girl Vicky Victoria just posted a brand new vlog she's one of my favorite like fashion and I mean fashion fashion girly um, vloggers I actually met her during my last most recent Paris Fashion Week in late February, early March, and we were staying at the same hotel and I, I met her in the hallway, her and Harrison, and they were a delight, like really. She's definitely one of like the hardest working fashion content creators in the game. Probably the best in the world, to be honest. And uh, 
I get a lot of my work ethic just from watching her. <laughs> mm. Woo! <clears throat> that ginger, y'all, <clears throat> kicks you in the throat. Ooh, goodness. So good, though. Mm. All right, gonna eat. And after I eat, I am going to show you guys what I'm packing for the Bahamas. Some of these things you've seen before, sure. Um, but yeah, it's only gonna be a 48 hour trip and we're gonna be in and out. Actually, the Bahamas is only maybe like 45 minute plane ride from Miami, so it's a quick, it can almost be a day trip, but why would you only go for you know, a day and then fly back the same day? Um, yeah, so it's gonna be like 48 hours in the Bahamas and it's gonna be great. I'll be staying at the SLS there in Baja Mar, I believe, but it's gonna be so much fun. Anywho, I forgot to tell you guys what I'm doing this evening. So this evening, I'll be heading to the SLS South Beach uh, for an event with Etem, which is a lingerie brand. They have rented out the penthouse villa at the SLS here on the beach. And they're having an event there. It should be fun. You guys know I, I actually really love lingerie. I have an extensive collection. You guys never see it <laughs> because why would I be in lingerie in my YouTube videos? But like I'm kind of a lingerie connoisseur. And don't worry, my man friend, they've seen the lingerie. But yeah, I can't wait to check it out. It should be really fun. I'm sure I'm gonna know a couple of people there. Maria's going as well. Um, so we'll get lots of behind the scenes. I will show you the Villa Penthouse Suite at the SLS on South Beach. I believe it's ocean view, ocean front, stunning. So if you're looking to splurge or if you just wanna see inside the rooms at the SLS in Miami Beach, I'll give you the vibes. Uh, and then we're gonna have dinner at the restaurant there, which is Katsuya uh, with the brand and the team and a few other content creators. So it should be a really fun evening. So yeah, I'll check back in soon guys. Gotta eat. Hey y'all. So finished my lunch, it was delicious and I did a little bit of work and now I'm gonna quickly show you all some things that I'm packing for my 48 hours in the Bahamas. That vlog is coming next. It's gonna be so fun. Uh, okay, so I just went ahead and laid out a few pieces here. Some of these you've already seen. It's been a minute since I've worn this dress. It is by the brand Alexis. They make really beautiful dresses. I feel like the last time I wore this was maybe like a year ago. And it's just a fun little mini dress with a little like bow here, a little one shoulder. And it's just giving tropical. And I think this will be really cute for like a dinner or drinks. Yeah, super cute. It's kind of old, but if it's still available, I'll find it and link it down below. Again, the brand is Alexis. Um, if not, I will link a few more dresses from that brand because they have really cute like vacation vibe dresses and occasion dresses. Um, I've already shown you guys this Jacquemus purple dress. I love this dress. The material of this is so cool. I wish you could see it. It's like a very soft, almost like velvet. Um, and I was afraid to shoot this earlier because I just know I will sweat through it and then you'll you'll see the sweat. So I wanted to save this for maybe a dinner out. Uh, and I think it would be really cute to pair it with my new Jacquemus bag and then my Versace heels. So we're gonna take this dress. It has a little keyhole in the back. Super fun. This comes in a few colors. It comes in like a brown, like a dusty brown, which is really beautiful. And it also comes in a burnt orange, almost red, like a rust. And I think I need to get the rust one because I feel like for fall, that will be so good with a tall boot. But yeah, these are still available and currently on sale. So I'll link those Jacquemus dresses. Now I'm probably most excited about this set, which is the two piece set from Fina Will. Um, Little Caribbean. I went to Fina Well's Brooklyn store, which is called Little Caribbean. Fina Well, Little Caribbean. They also have an Instagram, Fina Well, Little Caribbean. And uh, I went there in Brooklyn and I picked up this two piece knit set. It's like red knit, and underneath there's a white knit, and it has a little matching bra, and it's just 
so cool it's very very cute you can only get this in store it's not online anywhere um only in store and so so good i got it in a small it runs a bit big uh, but i can't wait to wear this i think this is like the perfect outfit for the bahamas also from fina well little caribbean i picked up this barbados top and i'm definitely taking this i think i'm gonna wear this here at the sls and i'm gonna pair it with this really cool hat from a uh, paco rabin or i think now it's just rabin so cute because it's the same blue i'm gonna do like a little pool moment with this top again the top is only at fina well little caribbean store in brooklyn and this hat is still available it's on sale at a bunch of different places but it's just so cute so cool i love it and then i'm gonna pair it with like a little bathing suit bottom that's yellow to bring out all the colors in the hat it's gonna be a vibe y'all a vibe in a moment i'm here for it also i'm going to take my very own bathing suit you guys remember last summer for our summer collection we did our first ever bathing suit and it's just so good it's like this beautiful red almost like a watercolor with orange and then we have these long red straps in the back that you could tie up different ways i believe a few of these bathing suits are still available from our collection um, I will put a link to the Something by Sanji Monroe Steel collaborations down below and you can check it out if you're looking for a really cool swimsuit. It's an open back and then it ties a bunch of different ways and it also goes with this hat. What are the chances? Like this came out way before this hat did and they are like perfect. So I think that would be a vibe as well and that way I can just pack like one cute little hat. Um, I'm also going to take my Jacquemus dress um this one i have it in so many different colors if i can find um some photos i'll pop them up i have it in pink i have it in black and it's just like a very sexy chill easy going dress it's almost like a linen it has an open back and these are also on sale at a ton of different places this is the best time to buy them when summer's winding down so that next summer you're already ready to go you have a really chic dress yeah very very cute and of course this set i wanted to wear this when i was in st kitts but the moment just never came but it's this set by tyrell that i picked up at essence and you would have seen these things in a previous video of me trying them on i'm not going to try them on again because of course you're going to see them again in the next video um but it has this cool little top with wooden beads that you can tie a bunch of different ways and a matching maxi skirt with a little slit in the back it's given 90s excellence and i love that for me um it's a beautiful stretchy material so good this is going to be a perfect moment so as far as like clothing and swimsuits that's pretty much all i'm taking it's only a a day really that we're going to be in the actual bahamas but it's going to be very, very fun. I think also I'm gonna take this hat, which is by Rosalind Baginski. I mean, this is such a good hat, like it's giving and I have to wear this hat before summer is over. So yes, I'm gonna take this and I will probably pair it with this swimsuit that I got um, during swim week. It's from JMP Label. And it's just like a neutral swimsuit and a beautiful fabric, like a crochet almost. And I think that'll be like a fun, cute little moment just sitting on a beach by the pool. And that's pretty much it. Um, you will see all of these things worn in the next vlog, but if you want to get them before they sell out, before people see me actually in them, <laughs> um, you can check the, the description bar down below. I have linked everything. Okay, so my event starts at 5, and Alexa, what time is it? The time is 4.31 p.m. It's 4.30. So I have about 30 minutes to get myself together before I need to leave here. Luckily, they sent us an Alto credit, so I'll be rolling there in style, in Alto, for free. Love that for us. Uh, let's go ahead and 
we zhuzh up our makeup we already showered so we're nice and clean i'm going to show you my outfit of what we're going to wear to uh so yeah let's do that first all right so let's do something about this face like my makeup held up pretty well in 90 degree weather <laughs> so we're just going to brush it up a bit i really didn't feel like taking all of my makeup off and redoing it so we're just going to refresh it with a little bit of the laura mercier translucent medium deep ultra blur powder and this gives you such a beautiful matte glow you guys will see it's gonna like suck up all this oil boom you don't need much it just kind of blends in and this is my holy grail when it comes to like products if i lost it all i would <laughs> Of course, I would go back and buy it all. But if I had to choose like three things for a face, this would be number one. So that just mattified everything, which is wonderful. Okay, that's that. Now I'm going to go in with my little puff from Amazon. These come in like sets. And I'll be sure to link these because every time I use them, someone is like, what's that little puff thing? What's that little puff thing? And I'm like, y'all, y'all got to be watching all the videos because I've shown this little puff thing so much. I'm going to go in with a little translucent powder also from Laura Mercier just to refresh my under eye a bit, add a little bit of brightness, soak up some of that oil. and this I, this works so well when you're just touching up your makeup okay we're gonna go back in with a little blush <sighs> big melons riri i've been on this blush y'all like it is that good and a few of you have already gotten it on my recommendation and you love it as much as i do look at that flush beautiful pink and how well it's almost like a pinky orange and how you see the vibes it's so good and i didn't think i would like it as much as i do because i'm not really into cream blushes but this is absolutely stunning but what i do like to do is bring it down a notch and usually I put a little bit of translucent powder over it to set it so that it just doesn't look shiny on my cheeks. I mean, some people like that shiny dewy look. Sometimes I do, but for a nighttime event, I would like for it to be a little more matte. So what I'll do is I'll take my blush brush and I'll go in with the little Dior Rose Glow in Cherry. This is the color, they're very similar um and but because this is like matte it just you see what it did it just mattifies it just a little bit and brings such a warmth i love it i love these two together but just as well you could wear them apart all right guys, so I'm gonna touch up my eyeshadow. I currently have on a, a red, but I kinda wanna switch it over to a more orangey color. So I'm going in with the um, Urban Decay palette. This is so old, this palette. It's called Born to Run. And look at how many beautiful colors are in here. Oh, so good. So I'm probably gonna go in with a mixture of this, this, and this sparkly here. Um, Let's do that. Where's my brush? All right, let's do it. I'm going in with the color Baja. Ooh, that's a little darker than I thought it would be, but it works. And then I'm just going to redefine my cat eye with the Dior Show liquid liner clean that up a bit since i sweat some of it off earlier today 
when shooting. It looks really nice and sharp. Then I just want to touch up my mascara. And I've been using the YSL uh, Lash Clash. This spoolie is huge and it does give you such like fan out almost like false lash looking lashes which is exactly what I'm going for today oh you can see the color better in the light how orange it is I'm gonna throw some more powder on my chin because it's a little shiny there Okay, so for the lip, I want to do like an orange glossy lip, but I don't have one. I know Dior uh, Lip Glow Oil, they have an orangey one, but I don't have that one yet. It's coming in the mail. So I'm going to use Peach Face by Fenty Beauty. It's their cream. You can use this. It's normally blush, but you can use it for your lips. So I'm going to see if it does anything. Oh. Oh. does a little something you guys can see let me try big melons and see if that's more like darker because that's what i used on my cheeks here we go so big melons is a little bit darker let's see yeah that's what i was going for so i just like to put some right in the center yeah, that's gonna be nice. Of my lips. And then what I do is I take the CoverGirl Yummy Gloss. This is the best gloss. Um, you can get it at like Target, CBS for like seven bucks. And I'm just gonna layer it. Mm, that's exactly what I wanted. Like an orangey glow. exactly what I wanted yes Riri love that all right guys let's get dressed and I'll come back and show you the full look all right guys makeup done looks great my look for tonight I am wearing this rat and boa uh, sheer dress and it almost looks like it has fireworks on it um I can't remember when I got this dress it wasn't too long ago it was definitely in 2023 um, and I just always wanted it and it's so good. By the way, I'm wearing a medium in all rat, rat and boa dresses and swimsuits that you see me in. I always get a medium. The medium fits great. It is completely sheer. I don't wear pasties. I don't wear a bra. I'm just wearing some pretty like coverable skims bottoms. Um, so you can't really see through this dress, which is great and I think this is perfect because it's almost like lingerie which is great for the Itam event um, and I think this would be beautiful for dinner at Cat Studio as well all right let's get this glow together gonna use a little bit of a Sol de Janeiro boom boom Fremeza oil this smells amazing and it's about to give your girl an incredible glow all you need is a little bit oh girl you see it yeah i love using this when i'm wearing a dress like this because it just takes it to the next level y'all and then it smells it smells so good and it's nice to layer your favorite fragrances with this oil as well so you guys see the shine it doesn't have anything in it like uh, that shimmers, but it just gives you a beautiful sun-kissed glow. And then it just smells amazing. So I'll link this down below. It's one of my favorite oils. And I usually will only wear these at night because girl, during the day, especially in Miami, you put on some oil, you're going to burn. <laughs> okay, you're going to burn. And then the oil is going to drip off your body. Yeah. And then I think tonight's fragrance, we're going to go with Byredo Ball Dad Freak. I do have the perfume, but when I'm already wearing a scented oil, 
I just mix it a little bit with body lotion. And this, this mixture is insane, y'all. This is one of my favorites. Baldad Freak. It's one of my favorite everyday fragrances. But it's a little expensive. The lotion is not as expensive. But it still has... Ooh, the, pro the projectile of the fragrance is so good. And that mixture... Mmm, that's a good mixture, y'all. I did some. I'm gonna link both of those products down below for you all. I'm gonna toss on my YSL heels, my favorite ones. They lace up and I think they will look really beautiful with this dress. Um, and then we'll pick an earring and then we will head out. I'm gonna do like a little fashion montage of this look once we get to the SLS South Beach Hotel. So you'll see the full thing but I'm already running late, so let's get a move on. So for tonight's earring, we're gonna go with these beautiful yellow Swarovski earrings. I love these. They come in a ton of different colors, green, purple, blue, um, and they're pretty inexpensive or a lot more affordable than um, some of these designer jewelry like these Kate earrings, which I love, but they're very, very heavy or like these Bottegas, or Chanel's, Louis Vuitton. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with these to bring out the yellow that's in my dress. All right guys, I just called my alto, so I have about 10 minutes. I'm gonna show you the look. Hopefully you can see it. It's getting a little dark, but Rat and Boa dress. Um, Saint Laurent Diva sandals in black. I love these. I'm gonna wear them every chance I get. The earrings are Swarovski. You already seen the makeup, um, the bag. I brought out my super fun Dior saddle in orange to kind of bring out the orange in the dress. And that is the look for an evening with a Tim at the SLS and for dinner with them as well at Katsuya. So let's go guys. to the SLS. I kind of showed you coming inside, there's a little seating area, then they have a bar, then they have a beautiful restaurant, indoor, outdoor seating, and then they have a pool. Um, I just got led into the villa entrances. Here, we're going to go up now. 